Well, hello everybody. I am Angel, part of your favorite trio, and I'm just here playing some Dark Souls, testing out this upload on the Xbox One game DVR. So, if you haven't played Dark Souls 2, this is it. This is the crux of it. You're fighting and you're dying all the time. Um, this is the Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin version, which is a, I guess, enhanced version of the first one, or the original one. What they did was they put new enemies in placements, um, new enemy placements I should say, so it feels like a brand new game. This enemy, for instance, was not here in, in the original version, and it's annoying. They usually, they are usually a docile creatures, they just sit in their little spots and don't move until you attack them. However, I guess since I beat the boss in this area, that they're just like, screw it, I'm just gonna kill anything that moves. So I have trouble with this guy, as you can see. And yeah, I'm really terrible for whatever reason. Usually, I don't take as many hits, but whatever. My plan for this playthrough was to get to the last Dragon Slayer or Orn scene if you ever played Dark Souls One. Here I go. It's all about patience in Dark Souls, picking your spots to attack, and just getting hit for no reason sometimes. I am about 10 hours into this game, so my gear is leveled up a bit. I'm using a flame sword, I think, too. Um, I went with a dual wielding class, this one, um, mostly dexterity, but I use the shield because if I get hit once or twice, I'm pretty much dead, so. Yep, new enemy placement right there. That little white knight guy. I forgot the name, but so I switched the bow just to um, bait him out a bit. As I am backstabbing this bro, how is everybody's day? How ev is everybody looking forward to Christmas? Some just random banter? I know I am. Just using some life gems, because I did not want to use my Essex Flash yet, until I get to the main boss area. Using a diversion and beta tactic again. Oops. I was trying to push him over the edge, but that was not going to work at all. He goes down relatively easily. And then these two just aggro. Um, they charge at me once. I'm right there hesitating whether w where I want to fight him, if I want to go back into the room and fight him in a bigger area or here. So I panicked and went here. And it kind of works out. It just takes a long while because the timing is annoying. It's like, oh, look, I hit. Oh, no. Got hit by the guy behind him. Life gem that up. Come on. Come on, man. With the roll, the terrible roll. Right. And because of the limitations of upload, and you can only record five minutes at a time, it is going to skip in a few seconds, but you have to believe me, I did defeat them in this try. I didn't die, and I had to redo it again. It was all one shot because I'm the greatest.
Okay, so proving that I am the greatest, I defeated them. Um, and I'm just gonna venture forth. Yep, nope. And it's much different doing uh, commentary over previously recorded gameplay rather than initial reaction. But yep, and this is Scholar of the First Sin in a nutshell. New enemy placement, just, oh great, he wasn't there before, totally wasn't expecting him. So I had to do a little song and dance with these two. I was trying to get rid of the White Knight first, but then I think I switched to the thing out the Iron guy first, because I knew that he was weaker health-wise. Panicking a little bit here, because any quick lunge at that moment, I would have been dead because of my animation. So just stick and move, stick and move, just go. Oh no, didn't move in that part. And I just switched to my rapier and just poked him just little little pokes while the other guy just left. He didn't want no part of this. And as you can see in the distance, there is that is a dragon. That is also a new enemy placement there. Original version, no dragon there. You just walk up, I defeat, I think, another one of these big guys, and then you can just venture forth. But being Dark Souls, it has to up the difficulty and up the ante, so. I didn't know my initial plan of attack was to um, shoot it with bow and arrows a lot. I stocked up on like a bunch of arrows. But there was another guy here with a spear this time. Thinks it's all cool with his fancy spear and with his little spinny attacks. Nope. Backstab. Stick and move, stick and move. Nope. Nope. Backstab again. That was a cool animation though with that sword. Just get in there, twist the blade too. It should have, but. Uh. By far the easiest one out of the bunch. And just a little poke him in the butt, that's all. Nope. Not today, sir. And I see it. I see a shade over there, so I'm like, you know what? I'm not going in this alone. I'm just going to summon a pal here. Bow to him, because that is the respectful way to greet somebody in Dark Souls. As he does the same. And without voice communication, we think to each other. We're like, we are going to mess this dragon up. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to take my bow out. And I'm going to shoot him right in the... Whatever. <laughs> Obviously, though, I, that didn't really didn't work. Because he has flame breath. And that reached all the way over. So, like, you know what? Fine. The extreme range battle. I'll just stay down here. Nope, fireball reaches as well. So I see my pal over there going in. It's like, screw it, I gotta, I gotta help my dude. And I just randomly, yep, shoot the wall. So I was like, screw it, going in. Now or never. Right safe here. Watch for the stomp. And it is like classic boss battles of the 8 bit area. You just gotta look for patterns, that's all. Step back, little stomp. Boom, easy peasy. 
much easier than I thought it was, but then again, like I said, I am pretty far into the game at this point, and I level up my gear. So we're on our way to Ornstein, aka the old Dragon Slayer, whatever. Um, I'm terrified, I'm always terrified of chests, thinking they're gonna be mimics. I'm like, please don't let this be a mimic. Thankfully, it wasn't, because who knows what they changed in this game. Get my Estus Blast ready, and ready to go to war. Ornstein is such a cool character. He was my favorite boss in um, Dark Souls 1. After I defeated him, I did everything to get his gear and his lance. And probably this, I think, this game, I'm going to try to get his lamp. I need like 15 faith as a requirement, I only have 7, so... Huh. But such a cool weapon and armor set. I use my friend over here to distract him. And just let him poke him. Just let him know. Bada boom. That is boss in the room. How you doing? Victory achieved. Bow to my friend here. Get some items. And be done with you, sir. I do not need you anymore. Looking at all the blood stains in the cathedral. I talk to this dude who is just randomly here while I fight this battle. It's probably just gonna cut off pretty soon, so this is my first video of gameplay like this. I don't know how many more I'll do of this, but this is just like a test run. Uh, maybe I'll upload some more Dark Souls videos as I open some chests. Or maybe some live stream it, I don't know. So, there you have it. You have obtained proof good fight, good night, and thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think. Do I suck? I am the best Dark Souls player in the world, I know. But, give me some critiques. What builds do you do? Uh, how much do you like this game? How, how much do you hate this game? Yes, I am denying your covenant, sir.